everybody, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm going to be looking at the OD-10 Overdrive Pedal by Bailton. Now what this is supposed to be is a copy of the Boss OD-1, which if you've looked recently, they're hard to find under $200. I think these go for $50 new. I got this one used for, I think $25, shipped to my door. The deals are out there kids, you just gotta look for them. I'm using my Tele Parts Caster with Wilkinson Alnico pickups into the Bailton, into the Bugera G5. And right now I have the clean channel set to really the volumes on max, so it's a slightly dirty, really kind of starting to push it. Uh, from there it goes to a load box into a more radar impulse response of an orange 412. So I'll start with the bypass tone, pick on the OD10, see what happens. So that was into the clean channel of an amp that's pushed to the point right at the edge of breakup. And now I'm going to switch over to the drive channel and see how the pedal interacts pushing the front of a drive channel. <laughs> So now I'm going to show the tone with some backing tracks. 
provided by my Digitech Trio, just a simple drum and bass pattern, and let's see what it sounds like with all the instruments. Sorry, I was having too much fun there. I actually like this. To be honest, I've never played a Boss OD1, so I really have nothing to compare it to, but judging it based on its own merits, it definitely adds some brightness. It has a lot of gain on tap, surprisingly, but it also kind of does that thing like a Tube Screamer does, where it has the distorted and the clean signal coming through, which is fine when you're going into the drive channel of an amp. I wouldn't use this going to the clean channel of an amp. I usually don't with overdrives anyways. I use them to overdrive an amp. That's the Lord intended. So anyways, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Chuck's Guitar Geekery, Instagram at Guitar Guy Chuck, and my blog at chucksguitargeekery.com. Until next time, cheers.